What have we done? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> There's a few things that might be worth money. It looks like mostly garbage. $300 <laughs> of garbage tools. <laughs> so the two auctions that we just won, one was labeled box of police evidence and the other was labeled pallet of police evidence. And we won them. We probably paid more than we should, but there were some other people at the auction that paid way more than they should have too but we did this for you okay we <laughs> bought these for you as our christmas gift some police evidence uh but there was this one it was a 15 or 17 inch computer monitor with beats audio speakers that went for 375 dollars astounding and they didn't even know if it worked like even if it did work even if it was brand new still sealed in the box that's more than double what they should have paid the power of the auction. Yeah, that lady knew what she was doing. She got the hype. You could barely understand what's going on. I'm not sure if people knew what they were paying. So from what I can gather, I think the majority of this is stolen and probably recovered by police and they could never find the owner. Uh, and so now we paid to be the owner. So yeah, keep in mind that all of this was police evidence. So when you see things like a catalytic converter or a pair of bolt cutters. It's got the officer's name on it who checked it in. It makes it kind of funnier when you you see that it's all evidence. We're gonna need your guys' help in the comments figuring out what some of this stuff is because we don't know. So we're gonna unpack everything and kind of sort it in groups and then go through and see what we found. Does that sound good, Dan? Yeah? We'll be right back. That's what a majority of everything was, was just tools. Yeah, there's a few cool finds, but yeah, mostly it was tools. Misfit sockets and some wrenches. Then we've also got a uh, cordless Makita impact driver, knockoff Dremel, plug and drill. We've got a million wire cutters and dikes, needle nose pliers, some random things. Those are all screwdrivers, uh, utility knives. Uh, adjustable wrenches and other wrenches because I didn't want to separate them. Allens, bolt cutters, files, ratchets, open end wrenches, bits, a lot. Why was there so much electrical tape, Dan? Oh, yeah. And there was this stack of electrical tape. And we also have this drill, but that is the old style of drill that is pretty obsolete now. What is that battery? So that's before lithium ion, so it's nickel cadmium. Uh, this table had a little bit more of an interesting spread. We've got a Wii without any cables, no memory card. We've got a battery charger, car battery charger, 12 volt air compressor, a mini jump pack that claims it can jumpstart a car, but I don't believe it. Got a test light. And then we've got a an old Canon G9, a Sony lens, which is a an E-mount. What size is this lens? A bunch of batteries and chargers, including this portable light. That works. 
It works, but we do not have a battery charger to charge it. Another battery pack that also has lights on it. Lens, oh, polarizer. Yeah, there's a bunch of lens caps and other stuff in here. This was almost the most exciting part. These are wireless Sennheiser mic kits, but they're two different models and they're both the receivers. We don't have a transmitter. Well, these are the transmitters, not the receiver. Oh, other way around, yeah. No, because these ones you don't plug a mic into. Yeah, so these ones are the receivers, not the transmitters. Bag of purple tools, themed. This is the table that has... It's probably like the most expensive stuff, but you could probably get the least amount of money for it. <laughs> Just because it is so specialized. Like, I don't know what this connector is. I'm sure it's expensive. And it's I have no huge. idea how you'd find out who would want to buy this from me. Anybody want to buy this from me? Making make bids? Make a good deal. 300 bucks. And then just a bunch of Chicago couplers not attached to anything. There. This and whole then box has... This box is just full of couplers. And then this giant thing, which looks like it's a valve of some sort, but not like a ball valve. It's... I don't know. I mean, like the fact that there's like two handles on it Makes me feel like it's some sort of crazy fire hose thing, but. And then we've also got this thing, which is big, heavy, was brand new in a bag. Don't know what it is. Bunch more couplers, a subwoofer that probably doesn't work. And this thing. Is it a big loopy wiry thing? Which. These connectors. My guess is that this is an umbilical that goes from a semi from the cab to the trailer. I don't have umbilical cords, but whatever, dude. <laughs> and then this jump pack was also in there, but when we plugged it in, it's given us FL, which... Which maybe means full, but when we don't have it plugged in, it doesn't work. If we don't plug it in, then it... Well, it's kind of on. The light doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know if this works. And this is the last one. Um, there's no charger to this, so I have no idea if it works, but I ordered a charger on Amazon for 12 bucks. Should be here tomorrow, one day shipping. Hey -o. Um, and then we'll see. Looking at everything we've got here, do you think it was worth what we paid? I mean, we looked some of these couplers up on eBay, and they're worth like 150 a piece. These are like, like 10 of them. These are really nice couplers to the person who needs them. Between all these stuff, it's like easily $1,500 worth of couplers. And we paid 350 total. So yes, easily worth what we paid, but to the right person. So last thing to do, we're gonna cut this open because it's not really worth anything. many lithium ion batteries in half on this channel but never it looks like you barely got the battery even oh like yeah right between them i just grazed the battery cells it doesn't have the lithium ion smell that we're used to that's for sure it doesn't smell like anything yeah this is like all metal gears i don't think drills these days are that much metal probably not so this was made back in the days when I had to go pretty slow duty. through there, and I had to go back through it a second time because it kind of sprayed back in a few spaces. I think we it's... completely missed the motor. I think it's just on the other side of here. Yeah. So these are just all the drive gears and all the gearing to get it all the torque that it needs. Intentionally cut it off center to see if maybe we could spin it, but I, there's so many small pieces in there, I think we just lose them. That's just what, like a few electronics in there to... That seems like a thick Bunch piece of copper. of copper, though. What is that needed for? Resistance? And that's kind of like is where the trigger a, is. Is it a heat sink? Like, why is there that much copper there? 
Copper was cheaper when this was made back in 1994. <laughs> Let's get a close up of those inner workings. Somebody post this on Reddit. I'll cut things in half porn. Drill, cut in half. Porn. I don't like how they call everything porn. It makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> just, what are they doing with this picture? <laughs> it just seems weird. Well, and that's a drill. And uh, that's what happens when you buy police evidence sight unseen at an auction. So, hope you learned something. I learned to not do that again. <laughs> hey guys, Stepdad Barnes here with uh, the new car channel that we started called West Shop. It's based here in 7.6 and we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff like LS swapping snow cats and, you know, hooliganism and debauchery and all sorts of fun stuff. Man, might even learn a thing or two from old stepdad. So click here to check out our first video in our series of LS swap stuff. Click my beard to subscribe to the wonderful channel of West Shop. And if you want to watch water jet stuff, you can uh, click, uh, click right here. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Click here, you know you want to click here. There's so much power and wisdom in this beard. <laughs>